and we're back. Okay, so the coach was, was reminding me of this today that the divine already is, it's, all, it's already showered with abundance. It's already there. An example of this is this, these homies supplies that are this bountiful contributions that have been coming in. If you know the place to be and the time to be and you do a little paperwork, not much, it's pretty minimal, you can get these, this awesome contribution, this donation of really great food supplies. They either go for us or go for the homies. It's really fantastic. But if you're not at the right place and the right time and the right day, it's not gonna be there. And he's helping me put this all together and, and understand that everything can be simple, just like that. We just had to be in the know. We just had to know where to be, when to be. We ended up meeting somebody who, who made a contribution and gave us the information very excitedly. And money, it makes sense, is the same way. That it's about knowing where to be, when to be, and how I'm gonna know it is by cleaning and clearing. So just keep cleaning, keep cleaning, keep doing the process. 20 degrees above the horizontal plane of sight. Activate the divine, turn to the divine in any moment. And if I can get a good, strong, stable footing going, like when I'm just by myself throughout the day or when I'm exercising and meditating, writing the passages, really helpful because I'm about to go into the world and be in a very busy environment and talking to people. And the more stable my footing is before I go, it's really my signal, right? The more stable it is, the better it goes and the better I come back and then the easier it is to go from there. So this cleaning and clearing is really exciting and I'm thankful that I feel like we're just beginning. The Zero Limits Club is altering my existence because it's causing me to write it, put my attention on it, I'm hearing things in it. You know, I thought I heard that audio. I listened to it many, many times before our club. I thought I heard it and I'm hearing new stuff in there and I'm like, ooh, I'm excited to write that down tomorrow. When I was listening while I was showering, I'm like, oh, that's good stuff. I'm writing that down because that is some answer I'm seeking. Okay, so today what I'm remembering is it's already there. It's already there. It's just my idea that's in front of it. My idea that's covering it up. And so I'm cleaning and clearing my idea. Getting back to the zero state where there's no idea, there's no thought, and there's where everything already is supports everything we've been studying all these years, which I really love about it. And now it's a matter of practicing and keep cleaning and keep cleaning. And if something comes, whatever it is, know that this is my opportunity. I am choosing to clean, be clean. I choose the zero state. So I'm going to be confronted with some things that are not. And they're the things, right? And I hear myself I'm like, sounds like outside of me again, Mary, take full responsibility. This is where this all begins. It's not outside of me, it's not things out there, it's a part of me expressing out, projecting out, comes from an unhealed part of me. I've heard those words many, many times, said them, <laughs> and it's all coming together. It's pretty exciting. Zero, my hero.